Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. And yes, we are back with the dynamic weather series. I know I said in the last video that I was going to end the series. But um, since then, I've had a number of messages asking me to continue the series and uh, do a few more things with the script. So that is what I'm going to do in this lesson. So uh, we'll continue on now. The first thing I was asked to include is uh, wind direction and um, a dynamic rotation to that wind. So we're going to do that in this video. So first things first, we'll come to game object, 3D object, and we want of type wind zone and the first thing we're going to do is add a tag so we'll come to add tag and we'll just add a new tag here and I am just going to say wind that's all it needs to be so we'll come back and then we'll assign that tag and now we have that in place now if we come to our weather game object, we'll want to um, rotate this along with the wind zone because all our particle systems that are attached to this game object move like the mist in a Pacific pattern. And you may have to um, change the rotation of each particle system until you've got them all moving in the same direction the same direction as we're going to set the the parent object the parent weather object and the wind zone too so just be aware that depending on how you created your individual weather particle systems you may just need to set the rotation here but just make sure that weather the parent game object and wind zone are both at zero and then we'll come to the script and it's going to be quite easy we can copy and paste some code to begin with I'm just going to copy this one here private transform underscore weather we'll paste that in below we'll get rid of the empty line and we're just going to change this to underscore wind and we'll change the comment here and then we will come down to the void start and we'll copy these two lines where we find the weather game object and then we give assign the naming convention. So I'll copy those two there, we'll paste them in and then we'll just go through and change what needs to be changed. So we can rename this to underscore wind game object we want to find object with the tag of wind and we'll change the comment here and we'll change the naming convention to underscore wind and I'll just copy and paste that there to equals underscore wind game object dot transformed and we'll just change the comment here as well I'll just save it there for now. So we'll come to the pick weather function and we'll come here. So now we are getting the wind game object as well as the weather. We need to set the rotation. And the way I'm going to do it is we're going to um, create a float and we'll name this underscore and let's just call it temp rotation and that's going to be equal to a random dot range open brackets 0 comma 360 close brackets will close the line off and of course we went through how random dot range works when we did this in the previous video so let's come here and we'll say underscore temp rotation and I'll just come to the front here put the little slashes in 
and um, we'll say is equal to a we'll say range between 0 and 360 degrees and then we'll come below here so now all we need to do is set the rotation of these two game objects so let's do that now so the first one we'll do the weather first we'll say underscore weather dot and we want transform dot and this is the one we want local Euler angles and I really suggest reading up about this on the unity website but um, this allows us to change the rotation or set the rotation of a game object that's what we use it for but um, as always I really suggest you read up about it so we'll say that equals and we're back to familiar territory a new vector 3 open brackets now we want to rotate on the Y axis and I'll just show you if I select the wind game object will come in and we'll just select the rotation tool here if I move it as you can see it's the Y value that alters here I'll just reset that back to zero for now so the first value is the value on the X which can remain at a value of zero and then we can actually use the temp rotation and remember this number which is going to be assigned to this naming convention is going to change every time we enter the pick weather state and then we can say comma and of course zero again and bear with me I'll make this full screen again and with that in place we'll close brackets we'll close the line off and straight into the comments so we'll say set rotation of weather game object and that's all we need for that line I think and we'll just copy this and we'll paste it in below and now we can just change this to wind at the beginning and everything else can remain the same because obviously we want the weather particle system to follow the wind direction so all we need to do now is change the comment here and we'll save that off and we'll test it out so we'll come to console and we'll hit play and if I just put it there so we had a value of 0 in Y as you can see it's changed to 96 here for the wind zone the weather should be the same which it is both values are the same so let's just select the directional light so we have access to the switch weather timer I'll just reduce that so we can swap a weather state and we'll pause again so we've cycled through the pick weather function again so the value should have changed and let's go and check it out so here we are now have a value of 85 rather than 96 what we had before and the wind zone should be the same which it is so that's all working and like I said hopefully um, all your particle systems are moving in the correct di direction if not you know try experimenting by adding 90 degrees here for each one until you've got them all moving in the same direction which will be equal to the wind zone and then everything should match up fine and we'll leave it here for this video and I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now